Hello, I'm Kevin from Kittronic and this is a microbit. A microbit can be used in both D&T and computer science lessons. So let's take a closer look at some of its features. So here on the front of the microbit, we have the parts that you can interact with. Here we have some tack buttons which can use as inputs. We also have an LED display. This is made up of a 5x5 LED grid and can be used for displaying things like scrolling text or for images. Along the bottom here, we have these pins and these can be used as inputs or outputs to the microbit. A simple, simple connections can be used by clipping onto these large pads or for more complicated circuits you can plug the microbit into a, a, an edge connector which allows you to break out these much smaller pins. On the back of the microbit we have the rest of the circuitry and we have things here like inputs for power, um, a USB input here for programming or for additionally powering the microbit and we have a reset button. So if the code is running on the micro bit, we can press the reset button at any time and it will start again from the beginning. We also have things like a Bluetooth chip here. This will allow the micro bit to interact with Bluetooth devices such as a phone. Or it can also be used to talk to another micro bit where you can send messages between the two. We also have an accelerometer and a compass. The accelerometer can be used to detect if the micro bit is tilting or moving and the compass can be used to work out which way the microbit is facing, whether it's north, east, south, west, etc. The microbit also has a built-in light sensor which utilises the LEDs on the front, but this can be used to detect light level. And it also has a built-in temperature sensor so we can make the circuit react to if it's hot or cold, um, etc. So let's take a closer look now at some of the kind of things you can make with a microbit. In this example, we've used a microbit to create a simple alarm system. The micro bit sat here and we've connected it to this buzzer. See the buzzer here, which is simply clipped onto some of the pins at the bottom of the micro bit. The micro bit is powered and programmed using this USB lead here. The program itself is created within the make code environment and is easily done by dragging and dropping blocks from the menu system. These blocks clip together and allow you to build a slightly more complicated program. The micro bit itself is used to sense movement and if movement occurs then we go into an alarm state so when a message will be displayed on the screen here and also to set the buzzer off. So if I tilt this now, you see the buzzer went off and we're now displaying the keep off message. The micro bit is detecting the movement by using the accelerometer that's on board. This knows the tilt or angle of the micro bit and if this changes from an allowable band then we go into an alarm state so we know it's allowed to be flat but if we tip it the values the accelerometer is reading will vary the software knows this and then it can sound the buzzer and uh, display the message on the front so now let's look at some other creations that you could make using a microbit 